Hi guys, uh, here is an update on this uh, petition. It has got over 21,000 signatures. Uh, nearly 99% of them are from Canadians, which is very good. Copies of it has been sent to the ministry and more will be sent, not just to the Prime Minister and the Health Min Ministry of Health, but also other, other uh, elected uh, public servants and institutions. Meanwhile, it is also beginning to attract some attention farther afield in USA and in Europe and uh, along with it, it is now drawing attention from some pro Monsanto trolls and, and they use their usual tactic which is stay away from the subject and start attacking the scientist or the messenger, in this case Anthony Samsel. Now, what do I mean when I say they stay away from the subject? Well, there are two subjects here. One is the main one, the petition, and that says that safety test documents, toxicology test documents and glyphosate, which involves exposing animals to this chemical and then measuring their uh, health parameters and comparing them with another group of identical animals that are not exposed to glyphosate and using these data comparisons as the basis to prove the chemical is safe or unsafe. This is the record and the data that Canadian people do not have access to. That's what I believe. I am also in continuous talk with the uh, government on Access to Information Act and I know that this is not out and they have 100,000 pages of data. They cannot send me a copy because of confidentiality, but I have a right to see. I can come to Ottawa and you know sit in their reading room and blah, blah. So all this is going on. And I also know that American people do not have access to this data either. So now, if you have proof that this safety test data, raw data of, uh, of uh, this toxicology test has been made public, for American citizens or even Canadian citizens or even any other citizens and then show us this data where it is available, where it is made up, uh, available uh, to the people, then show it, you know. If you don't have this information, just shut up because this petition is asking about asking for this information. The other part is Anthony Samsel and he, in the latest update on this, uh, on this petition, uh, spoke with me on how glyphosate is an amino acid and how it mimics one of the basic building blocks of life, which is glycine, how it mimics it and gets into our system and then replaces uh, glycine wherever it can in our body, in our tissues, in our chromosomes and it crosses the blood brain barrier, everything. Uh, why? Because glycine can do all that and this one mimics glycine. Now, if you have proof that glycine is not, uh, glyphosate is not an amino acid. If you have proof that it does not mimic glycine, if you have proof that it does not accumulate in the body, and by proof I don't mean them some idiot's opinion about it. Proof means raw data. Show somebody tested for it and then found no trace. How do they test uh, that glyphosate is or is not accumulating in the body? Well, here is how you make out. You dope a particular batch of glyphosate by a radiocarbon, uh, radioactive carbon, carbon-14. If you don't know what the heck is radioactive carbon, go find out. I don't have time to educate you. Now, you make that and that becomes a radioactive molecule of glyphosate, which can be now traced because it radiates and therefore leaves its signal, its signature footprint. And then you feed an animal with it and then you check the animal which did not have traces of this before the feeding and now begins to have, first of all, in its, in its digestive tract. And then you begin to find it going into all kinds of places, including, for instance, the, the blood, blood chemistry and in the bone marrow and the tissues and then organs and the heart and, and the bloody brain and all that. That is how you prove that it gets into our system or proof that it doesn't get. It all stays in here and goes out. This is what I mean. If you have that proof, freaking show it. If you don't, stop attacking Samsung and just, you know, F off. That's what I have to say.